yeah, so you have this exercise, it's lab two. The instructions are a table. Uh, the table, the important things about the table is, so you have the name of the person, you have their title, but then you also have who they report to. And how that works in an organizational chart is the organizational chart is hierarchical. Hierarchical meaning that it has a top to bottom um, organization. And so that the people at the top um, uh, hierarchically uh, sort of oversee the people below them. Uh, or in other words, the people below report to the people above. So for example, Mohammed Al Thani, the VP of IT, reports to Khaled Al Ansari, the CEO. Uh, and how we actually do that, you know, if you go and create a new, um, a, a new uh, Visio, uh, so it, we've got some basic templates there, but if you don't see the template that you want, then you can, uh, you can search for it. And so that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm going to search for an organizational chart. And, um, Sir? Yes? How do we download with you? Because I have it online. Um, there's an app. Okay, now, how, if you are in, if you're doing the online one. Yeah, I have it through the, the college uh, office. Yeah, so if you you can see my office now, right? Uh, so if you look at that, you should be able. There should be a a Visio now. How do you? Yeah, this one here is the app itself, right? Um, let me see now. This is still online, and um, if you want to, yeah. Let me see. Let's see org chart, organizing or organizational chart. And they should have a, uh, well, it doesn't, there you go. I'm not really using this way of doing it. Uh, um, what I want is, yeah, how do, how do we do it? Sorry, I, I'm not doing it that way. Um, so that's bad. I haven't got a good way, a good answer to you for that. Um, it's okay, so I'll try doing it uh, by afternoon. And if yeah. it doesn't work, then. I'll yeah, because you, you do need to get the app. So, I mean, here I am using the app. That's how I do it. Now, organizational chart, once you have you choose to do one, um, uh, well, you will see that you have all of these tools available. You have different kinds of chart, chart styles that you can choose from. The one that you're going to do is this one with the belts. And so if you take one of these items like the executive belt, that would be for anybody who like the CEO. So um, if I click on that, that could be, for example, Khaled Ansari. And uh, so, oh no, I could click on his title as well, I suppose. And he's the CEO. Um, now in your exercise with this, you don't need the picture. So you could just highlight the picture and. Well, you can't delete it from there, I'm sorry. Uh, you can get it from here. Uh, so delete the picture. Uh, so you can get rid of the picture. Um, now, if you're gonna take a manager and make them report, well, I don't know if this, well, let's take another one. So I want this person to report to the CEO. So all I could do is just bring them to that point and then that line is already there. And so that's how we make them report. If I want another person to report to this one, the same thing, right? And uh, so that one, I'm oh, sorry. Now I've messed that up, haven't I? So put it on there and now it's reporting to them. So, I mean, you know, you gotta have better, um, mobile, uh, better mouse control than I've got. But uh, that's basically what you're going to do is you're gonna build those up one at a time with each of these objects. If you highlight them, you can right click and you can edit them, changing their properties, their colors, their, um, uh, well, any of those things about them. You do want to maintain the belts as it works. Uh, there is this thing called a team frame, which you're going to apply at one point. Um, oh, oh, yeah, other things, all of the, in the properties, you can change the 
the borders and the colors, and you'll need to do that. But let's say you wanted to make two of them into a team. You can do that. You just put the team frame around them. Um, you need to do that because you're going to have the help desk thing going on. Um, yeah. uh, the other thing that you can do is you can actually change the layout because maybe the layout that it's giving you is not sort of suitable to fit all of the things into the page. And so you can go and change it so that it lines up a bit better. Um, well, what I should have done is select all. Uh, so if I went to home, I could take select all there and then I could go and um, yeah, that was uh, back in design, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I, here you can do the relay out from here rather than since it seems to disappeared from the other one. Anyway, so you can change the layout uh, to make it uh, a layout which is more sort of suited to what you're doing. Um, anyways, I hope that sort of gets you started on that. Um, yeah, that's basically, I'm not going to sort of go through the whole thing, but um, that's